Somebody asked me about gambling. Gambling's a tough one. Because I think when you go to the casino and you lose money, you feel like a loser. <laughs> and you're going, crap, I lost $1,000 last night. I'm already in debt. I only make, I don't know, four or $5,000 a month, and now I lost 1000 last night. And I, lo- I played three times, went three times in the last week, and I lost $1,000 each night. I'm a loser. And I'm not saying you're a loser. I'm saying <laughs> this is the feeling, the words in your head. And uh, when you feel like a loser, I think the only way to feel better is by feeling like a winner or winning. And in my mind, when I was a loser, you know, I wanted to go back and get my money back. And, okay, thank you, RJ. I wanted to go back and get my money back. And so that calling would always be going on and it was an endless cycle and then I'd win and I'd feel like, hey, I'm printing money. I won three grand last night. That's so fun. That could buy me a down payment on a car or whatever. Uh, And you'd go back. But again, you're getting a rush and your mind is kind of playing tricks on you. I think the first step to getting over gambling is realizing that you're not a loser. Because I think the driving force behind all my gambling, it wasn't really the money. I mean, I could probably look at my bank account and see it wasn't a smart play. And... uh, uh, but I think the driving force was probably insecurity, feeling like a loser, feeling like you can only get that rush, that good feeling, that feeling like a winner uh, from, I don't know, putting a 10 on, uh, you know, getting a 10 on a double down with an 11 and uh, winning big and the rush that you get and the cheering and the crowds watching. If you were gambling big, it was all fun. Uh, so I'd say uh, forgive yourself would be my first step if I was to cure a gambler. And I don't know what I'm talking about.